Okay, this is gonna be a weird video, but I think I've got it all figured out. I've discovered the one product that a company like Garmin could make that they haven't made yet that would completely kill brands like the Whoop Band or the O-Ring or a lot of other brands out there. Hear me out. I'm Dave, and if you follow my channel, you probably know that I'm a bit obsessed with trail running and fitness tech devices, like all of these things here, like Garmin's, Apple Watches, you name it, I've probably covered it on this channel. And I'd say it's no secret that lately there has been a huge boom in the non-smartwatch wearable fitness space. Devices like the O-Ring or all these other rings out there and bands like the Whoop Band here that don't have displays, they're just kind of like sensors that tie into an app on your phone. However, I do think brands like the Whoop Band here and the O-Ring were really the pioneers in the space and sort of paved a path for all these other companies to follow. And now you can find countless devices from brands like Ultra Human, Ringcon, and hundreds of other brands out there on Amazon for very cheap money that you probably shouldn't buy, kind of copying what Whoop and Aura did a couple of years ago. With that that said, let's get back to the point of this video. What could Garmin make that could completely crush products like the Whoop Band, for example? To explain that, let's take a closer look at the Whoop Band. What I have here is the latest version of the Whoop Band, and as you can see, it's a very simple device. All it really is is a band with a fancy clasp mechanism and a heart rate sensor on the back. All of the magic of this product is really in the app on your phone. So if the Whoop Band is so simple, why has the Whoop Band been so successful? And I think that comes down to three major factors. The first factor is Whoop's incredible marketing. They've probably put this device on every major podcaster and athlete out there. So you see it everywhere from Instagram to YouTube. It's it's kind of everywhere, so that has played a major role in its popularity, but that's kind of besides the point here. The second factor is that the Whoop Band does have really good software. The Whoop app on your phone is really well polished, it's well laid out, and the information is easily digestible, it's easy to read and understand, and that's a good thing. I actually do really like the app. But the third thing, and probably most importantly for this video, is the fact that it's a simple device with no display that sort of just gets out of your way and it's sort of kind of like a fashion accessory in a way. You see, there is a huge segment of people out there that wanna track their all day health and fitness data, but they also don't wanna wear a watch 24 hours a day. Maybe you love analog watches and you'd rather wear your Omega dive watch instead of wearing a plastic Garmin Forerunner. That's totally up to you. Maybe you work in an industry like healthcare, for example, that prohibits you from wearing a watch eight hours a day, so you don't get all of that data. Or maybe you have a hard time sleeping with something big and clunky on your wrist like a Garmin Phoenix, for example, but you still want to collect your sleep metrics. And that's really where the Whoop Band or the Aura Ring come in because they just kind of get out of the way while still collecting all of that data. However, even though Whoop and Aura are really good at what they do, if you're a Garmin user like me, there's always been some friction to using something like the Whoop Band to complement your Garmin. Because now you've got two apps on your phone and if you want to look up your sleep data or how well you slept, your HRV or whatever, you're going to look at the Whoop Band because you've been wearing that 24-7. But maybe if you run with a Garmin watch, you want to look at your activity data. So you're going to have to go in Garmin Connect for your activity data and then look at your sleep data in the Whoop app and it doesn't all tie together. It's not very seamless. That's where things get sort of clunky and it's a bit of a headache. So come with me down imaginary lane for a minute and imagine that this Whoop band in front of me, instead of saying Whoop right here, maybe said Garmin right there. And instead of that subpar optical heart rate sensor on the back, maybe had Garmin's latest Gen 5 heart rate sensor that's proven to be pretty accurate in my testing so far and also has ECG capabilities along with a skin temperature tracker. Now imagine that all the sensors in this little band tie into your Garmin Connect account where you can not only record your daily basics like your step count and calories burned, but also more advanced features like training readiness, HRV status, the really amazing body battery feature, stress tracking, and Garmin's new sleep algorithm with sleep coach, which is really cool. I think Garmin could even enable this imaginary band to track GPS activities within the app by leveraging GPS position from your phone and tying that in with the optical heart rate sensor on the band to get a whole picture of your activity. That sounds pretty cool, right? But here's the best part. Garmin Connect currently doesn't carry a subscription to use the app on your phone, where the Whoop Band does cost nearly $30 a month depending on the plan you choose. That's a lot of money. 
So I think Garmin could easily charge something like $150 for a band like this and probably get a lot of people to convert from Whoop back to Garmin Connect because of the form factor. But there's one more huge benefit to this imaginary band that doesn't exist yet. I'm just making this up. If you use Garmin Connect, you know that you can pair multiple devices to the same Garmin Connect account. For example, I have like 40 different watches paired to my Garmin Connect account. I can pick up any Garmin I own and use that throughout the day and swap and choose which one I wanna use at any given point. And all the data from all of those devices is merged together to give you a seamless look, a gapless look at your day, depending on what device you're wearing. So if you had this imaginary Garmin band, that means you could use this to go to sleep and have something less obtrusive on your wrist while you're sleeping, collect your sleep data, and when you wake up in the morning, you could throw on your Garmin Epix Gen 2 51 mm meter form factor, big huge GPS watch to go run an ultra marathon. And after that ultra marathon, all of that data that you just collected from sleeping with the band to running with the Garmin Epics, that would be all collected in one place and aggregate, aggregated together and merged to give you a holistic picture of your activity throughout the day. And I seriously think this kind of device would be a huge seller for people who have previously bought big watches from Garmin because maybe you can't wear it all day or maybe you have a hard time sleeping with it and and that's where a really lightweight, low profile band like this would be a really appealing device to pick up. To be clear, I'm not hating on Whoop and I do actually like the product for what it is. Even if the heart rate sensor isn't super accurate, the feedback loop in the app is still really useful. But I do think the point I'm trying to make here is that they are dangerously close to some fierce competition and possibly being obsoleted by a big company like Garmin coming out with a form factor like this. This could change everything. So the ball is in your court, Garmin. Make this device, we all want it. Read the comments of this video down below and I'm sure you'll find a lot of people who agree with me. And if you're the person watching this that hasn't commented yet, make sure to drop down in the comments, share your opinions on this, share whether or not you would buy it, how much you would buy it for, what the right price would be, and also share if you're a Whoop user, would you convert to a Garmin if they made something like this? Let me know in the comments down below, I would love to hear from you. Oh yeah, and by the way, Garmin, if you're watching this, I'll also take a commission for the idea because uh, I think I I deserve that, right? Anyways, this was sort of a weird speculative nonsense video, but I really wanted to share my thoughts on this because I, I have to assume I'm not alone here in hoping that Garmin comes out with a device like, like this. And seriously, with my luck, I bet Garmin does release a device like this before I can even edit this video. But if you're watching this video, then it doesn't exist yet if that makes sense. Okay, I think that's the end of this weird video. If you're still watching, you probably enjoyed it in some way. And if you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you went down and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to, my ch blah, blah, blah. subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. I made it. Also, while you're down there subscribing, make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the products I've mentioned in this video. And on top of that, make sure to check out the links over to my other social media accounts on Instagram, Threads, my podcast, YouTube channel, and even even my website where you can get some sweet Chase the Summit swag like the, like the awesome hat I'm wearing right now. Check that out. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go now. I'll see you later. Bye.